Um, my name is Ko Hyung Jin. I'm a student of Chicago Cancer College of Law. And during this semester, I will work for the project of depriving and deathly actions. By these both actions, a plaintiff can seek to recover their personal property from a pandemic. By this project, I provide continue and depriving comprehensive and related materials for Cook County, and if available, I used to verify the complaint. And also, one of the target of this project, I tried to provide the selection of actions based on the interviews. Actually, in many cases, uh, there is no right action, right action to select one of the actions, because uh, although two actions are a little different procedure uh, requires a little different procedures, but the final outcome, whether you select uh, the repairing or getting your action, you can recover the property and sometimes uh, recover damages. Damages, but because of the procedural difference, uh, uh, depending on the plaintiff situation, a plaintiff may get the benefit in their money and time. So it could, if we select the right, uh, right action. And I hope this project outcome would be served to Illinois Legal Aid Online, and which is a client of this project. And Dina, who works there, also helped and guided me to finish this project. This web aid provides a lot of legal advice and documents and so improves, improves legal accessibility, especially for low-income persons. And I actually looked many persons relied on this website and finally get their documents. So I hope my project is also used to guide a person who need, who need help. And for this project, I used a web-based interview tool, yeah, the HJ Guide interview, and automated template tool, template tool. it's a hot dogs. And, and I, want, I wanted this interview to respond to many dependents who would be in different uh, type of dependents, such as individual, government, and corporate. And also, as I mentioned before, I wanted to provide the selection of one action based on the interview. So when end user answered the question in his project, he, they finally get the, get the appropriate, the, the appropriate complaint and related material. And by the outcome, I, based on the interview, this project provides uh, an end user with uh, one package of the total three packages for requiring with notice. I will provide a complaint with notice and judgment with notice. And as for taking action, I will provide complaint with summons and judgment. And requiring without notice, I will provide uh, this project provide a complaint <coughs> and judgment without notice. Mm. The challenge from the legal aspect in this project is um, basically how I can select the appropriate action. Repriving includes two separate steps. One is the seasoning and another, the last one is trial. So the seasoning is more, it's very similar to preliminary injunction and then and trial is the trial litigation. And between is um, just one step, trial litigation just like other litigation. And also, replaying with notice is very similar to the preliminary injunction, uh, in the part that preliminary injunction. And replaying without notice is similar to ex parte, ex parte litigation, ex parte preliminary injunction. So, to select the appropriate actions, I used the uh, IICLE materials, which provides uh, continuing legal education, and also the client also recommended to use that one. And another challenge 
came from the way to make the template and uh, interview. Based on one interview, it should respond to three different actions selectively. And also, one of them requires a specific template, depending on dependent number. And each template requires a specific dependent name in the position, along with the whole dependent name list. And also, I, I also suffer a problem with the plain language in the interview. But anyway, they are all served through this class. So, let's see the HJ interview and after. This one is a HJ interview and let's cut the video. Yeah. And at first you require the package name and then he gives some option whether he he is suing VF on his on the VF of Solpreking. And also, uh, uh, when I select the yes, the, this uh, interview has its name, and it will select no, it will put the, your address. And then also, I ask the, the marriage status, because uh, sometimes uh, when someone owns or protects some property, we do just want to, so many times uh, the legal life is uh, shared with the uh, husband and wife. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yes, sir, you know. so from, from this page, uh, I will ask uh, some questions for clarification, so, and also further uh, explain the terms, I, uh, I'll, I'll explain the details, for example, as it is in examples, and also, yes. And I will I intend to use this this interview for for say deliver so that's the thing and then it's the meeting and also select the venue and at first from this page I will I will ask to, to select which actions is more appropriate so at first I ask the whether he is owner or not, because the, the, the uh, requirement action, requirement action, the owner or any person who has possessory right also bring an action, but at the definition action, it's only allowed for owner. So maybe, uh, and also, and the main difference between the requirement and definition action, so uh, at the first, Page in the requirement le action, the pre uh, a judge can order to order to share to order for charity to seize that property and then return it back, and then the defendant has some dependents um, want to trial at the time the at the second stage the trial will be held. So the location so. The knowledge where the goods and channels you want to recover are located in this very important because uh, if you don't know, the child does not see it. So maybe, yes. And then, and also the, in the deprived action, it, it's, uh, it, it's restricted and dependent on uh, take your, this property because of tax or any local process. So maybe no. Uh, and also, to do requiring action, it's just like a preliminary injunction. So, if he got the, if he get the order from the judge, he have to deposit two times the value of the property. So, someone may not come to deposit the, deposit the money. So, even if he is eligible for requiring, I get. Uh, I ask whether he actually want to punch it or not. <laughs> so maybe no, and maybe yes. And then, and this, and then from this page, 
it's a little hard to complex legal questions. So because um, in the required election, he will be eligible for inter parte or ex parte proceeding. So to do ex parte proceeding, the verified um, verified form requires some specific type of uh, situations. So I divided it into two things. One is the that situation, maybe in this person though. At the time, it will ask uh, some immediately impending harm, impending harm. So he may have the immediately impending harm. So he can select the more detailed this situation. And then, even if he is very, he is eligible for uh, I think there is some displeasure. <laughs> I amended this um, interview yesterday. So when I select this one, the next page is even if you are eligible for the requiring uh, without notice, you will do the requiring. You actually want to do requiring without notice because uh, the judge does not need, does not mm, uh, applicant who cannot prove to his immunity impending harm while judge rejected his proof. He has to send the notice at notice again, and it means that he has to start the litigation again. So I explain the whole situation and then uh, give the option whether he actually moves the ex parte proceeding or he become the parte proceeding. So and then I ask the, the proper, property value and then description. And from this, uh, and then I placed, I placed uh, the dependent information for this slide, slider. So the problem is uh, he, the plant may have the several dependents. Maybe it may be more than two or three, sometimes five. <laughs> so at first I give the five dependents option, but this guided, guided interview is uh, can be used uh, up to 10 dependents. And also, if he has, he may have one for the 10 dependents, I, I guide him to add it directly to the complaint. Anyway, it's a six dependent. And then I ask that first, the, there's the, the, the type of dependent, individual government and business entity, because uh, depending on the dependent, the complaint require a little different uh, Information. For example, uh, business entity. At first, I asked uh, is the incorporated or uh, sole proprietorship. So maybe it's, uh, and also I explain it a little more how, how he can find whether it's incorporated or uh, sole proprietorship. And, um, and then ask the business name. And also, I write the, how can you find the business name? And another problem is uh, it, the company asked the registered agent, so, so I explain how can he find the registered agent information. And also, I select the three dependents, but whenever he select the no other dependents, this time we go out, so get the forms. So at the hot dogs template, yeah. <coughs> on the continue action, it has the <coughs> it's selected by the it's selected the definition action and then fill out the proper answers for all definition action. 
and depending on the interview, he may select the repairing video. Notice. It's a selected the repairing with notice. And then and then notice forms depending on the specific panda. And also it has the agent name and also and also this one and the TBA name, doing business size name, and also judgment. And another one is without notice form. This one is the same complaint and but different to work for this wedding without notice. So it provides it select one thing depending on the interview. So this this form select the that situation. And then and then every complaint is uh, including the dependent information. If the dependent is dependent are more than three or sometimes two. So Very impressive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job.